all right uh, welcome to this tutorial and uh, I'm gonna go and show you that uh, how you can go on and make a background for the poetry you can write in Urdu or in English I mean whatever language you're gonna go and use but uh, <coughs> sorry I'm gonna go and show you that how did I uh, design some of my uh, poetry projects for that I'm gonna go into file click new and uh, the preset which I'm gonna go and use is uh, 1024 by 768 resolution is 72 because um, that's gonna take uh, too long if I set it to 300 but I'm gonna go and use uh, 72 you can use 300 press OK to confirm that and here is my canvas which I'm gonna go and use alright uh, the first uh, picture which I'm gonna go and use is I'm gonna go and mo take my move tool from this uh, tool palette and click and drag in my uh, canvas this is my untitled file and I'm gonna go and set it about half like this or you can uh, do something like this so that's uh, that really depends on you and uh, I'm gonna go and close this because I got the file Alright, this here is in flower, a white uh, rose. I'm gonna go and drag this too. And I'm gonna go and set it about in here. That's fine. And uh, close this. Here I have another file, but uh, what I'm gonna go and use is uh, just uh, hide this flower. I'm gonna go and take my gradient tool. Make sure that your gradient tool is selected because. Uh, my your paint bucket tool is at the top so just click keep clicking the uh, left and select the gradient tool you can uh, if your uh, paint bucket tool is selected press a uh, shift G and uh, you can go on and uh, take your gradient tool alright press D and X key to reset your colors and make sure that you select this layer this this uh, tree layer down here you can see some buttons in in, in the layer palette and uh, here it says the add layer mask just click that one just once and you can see that there is a mask beside this uh, this tree layer you now what you have to do is to take your gradient tool click and drag alright that's very nice now you can see that uh, my colors are from white to black. My foreground is black and the background is uh, white. So what I do is, if I click from here, what it will do is, it will mix up the picture, but you still can see this edge, control Z. So that's why uh, before this uh, this hard edge, I'm gonna go and click uh, here and till here and that makes my picture smoothly that's very nice I'm gonna active my flower layer and uh, what I'm going to do is to make a new mask click from here to here Oops. click from here to about that much yeah that's very fine so what now is I really mix two pictures together and uh, you really can uh, judge that from the picture from where the picture is gonna go and start but I mix them and uh, I'm gonna go and put a new flower it says a spring something like this flower I'm gonna put it at the middle about yeah that's very fine alright I'm gonna go take my gradient tool and uh, this time I'm gonna go and s select the gradient I mean uh, here you can see at the top at the very top you can see some options here are my black and white colors I'm gonna want to click this one and uh, here is uh, where I have to set the colors I'm gonna go and color it black from the both side and at the center I'm gonna go and click and it give me a white color and that's very fine for me press um, OK to confirm that I'm gonna take a new layer mask and click and drag alright so now you can see that I mix up three pictures two flowers and one tree together 
and uh, that's looking really very fine and they are really uh, I mean mixed so what I'm going to do is to I'm gonna go and close this image and here I have the Kelly pictures I'm gonna and drag her in here and you can see the picture is so uh, big I'm gonna go and open my navigator palette and just zoom out a bit Alright, I just uh, zoom out and I'm going to resize this image by pressing shift from my keyboard and I'm going to drag this like in here. Alright, press enter to confirm that and uh, just zoom in so you can see this picture very clearly. I hope you can see this one. And I'm going to move this picture right about here. That's very fine. So, I do want to make hide. I mean, if I. Yeah. I don't want to hide all of these because I just uh, really mix them very smoothly. So I don't want to hide all of these uh, layers by putting this girl on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and show this picture. And I can, I mean, transform that to horizontally. For that, you, can, you have to go to the edit from the main menu. And here is the transform. And from the transform side menu, you can see the flip horizontal. And uh, you can see that this girl has changed her move and uh, she's now looking at here. Why I do all this? Because I think that this flower looks very nice than this uh, tree. So I'm going to go and show this one. And um, I set it about in here. I mean, that's very fine. And just uh, because uh, here is some zoom prob. All right, that's very fine. So you can see that I have a edge here. So I'm going to select this one, press shift from your keyboard and drag a bit. That's very fine. And arrange this uh, image. Alright, that's very cool. I'm going to go and select this uh, ladies layer. Make sure that it's selected and again make up a new uh, layer mask by selecting this one. Alright, pick up your gradient tool. Now you can see that I've just changed the gradient so I'm going to go and check this uh, first preset that's very fine press OK to confirm that I'm still working with the gradient and what I'm going to do is to just uh, before this edge I'm going to drag it about about in here alright that's very fine control Z and do it one just once more and about in here alright that's very fine you can uh, select this picture I mean that's the mask and I'm, I don't want to do work with mask and I'm just gonna go and uh, select this one and bring down the opacity actually yep so what happened now is you can still see the tree you can still see this flower these flowers and you can still see her eyes and that's gonna go and make a very nice effect alright I'm gonna go and uh, make a new layer on the very top on all of these four layers like this and uh, now I'm gonna go and uh, take a color which I think with I think that's uh, look nice on it so I just choose this one this is kind of a green but not uh, so light it's kind of a very I mean, deep green alright uh, make sure that uh, your move tool is selected because I don't want you to select this gradient you have make this new layer make sure that it's selected now and press alt and backspace from your keyboard alright we just fill this uh, this all canvas just zoom in because you're gonna go and see a very nice effect after I do some more effects alright make sure that your uh, green layer is selected come to this blending options these options will really give you so much effects and the second loss it says the color yeah, and here it is. Voila, we got the effect. And now you can go on and use this uh, for any kind of your project. You can write down a poetry on it. You can um, you can write down anything. I mean, I mean, you can say like, uh, if I'm gonna go and say something like this, uh, so I can say that, uh, hi. Oops, I am Rehan, and uh, I I know that. Uh, how to make but well, I'm not Rehan because uh, he's my cousin and he's just beside me and uh, he's watching all this video because I'm making and he was making so nice and I just I had to keep him to be silent 
Now you can see the the effect which Rihan gives me a nice ringtone of a Nokia. All right, just bring down the uh, bring down this. Uh, oops, this is gonna be very nice. All right, you can use uh, Urdu for this one, and uh, you can go on and to in page and copy your uh, Urdu poetry, and you can go on and copy this one. But this is what I've done, and. Uh, I hope you like this tutorial and uh, for more tutorials to be uh, visit on uh, w uh, oops sorry uh, youtube.com/photoshopinurdu and uh, I'll see you in my next tutorial